Hi, I'm Jason Gorber, and uh, we here at the Best Buy YouTube uh, channel are taking a look at the BenQ GP500 projector. Now, I'm pretty excited. I never get a chance to actually look at a bunch of the projectors, but I was actually sent this because I'm kind of one of the audio guys around this channel. And this is actually a really fascinating product. I'm actually really, uh, was really excited to actually uh, give it a shot. It's essentially um, a 4K compatible projector. It's not native 4K. It uses pixel shifting, but nonetheless, it's a 4K capable projector. It has uh, built in um, uh, uh, a slot for you to put in a media stick so you can actually sort of have this as a standalone unit. Um, you know, it has uh, uh, just, this is it. It's relatively light. It's nice and portable-ish. You put it where you sort of want to put it in. Um, it's got uh, HDMI. It's got some interesting outputs here that we'll get into. And it's got this weird like sort of um, element sort of around the side here because really what this is, is this isn't just a projector, it's a Bluetooth speaker and a projector at the same time. And that I think is really fascinating because you can, if the if your sort of setup sort of demands it, or if you have a specific um, use for it, this is a really tremendous way of actually getting um, a very large screen with pretty decent sound um, uh, in a uh, given your setup. Now, let's be clear. Uh, I could go on and on about the sort of video capabilities of this, and I'll spend a bit of time on that, but primarily we're sort of looking at it, it for what it's designed for, which is to set it up as a projector in front of you, um, yes, you can ceiling mount it, um, sort of, if you put it behind you, the sound doesn't quite work the quite same way, but of course you don't have to use it with the built-in sound. You can use it, um, as part of a full home theater setup. There may be different sort of options to look for that. So thinking of this in its actual case scenario, which is you will plop it in front of you. That's actually the way that it's designed to go sort of on, um, sort of an ottoman or some sort of uh, coffee table or something like that and have that project on the screen in front of you. The sound then sort of comes from the front to the back. And it has this, you know, the sort of 360 sound modes that you have um, on a bunch of units these days. It's not like it's doing complete Atmos, but frankly, when you do Atmos, you want real ceiling speakers at the best of times anyway. Even the best sound bars that I've actually had a chance to actually listen to sort of when it does the virtual surround sound doesn't only decent job, not nothing particularly spectacular. What's great about this is there's actually multiple drivers inside designed for directionality. And there's a really interesting thing that if let's just say it's a projector and sort of off to the side, one of the selections you can get in the menu is actually whether it's in the center right in front of you or off to the left or off to the right. And so the sound will actually sort of shift there so that the center channel sounds like it's right in front of you. Obviously the best solution is to have it as close to directly in front of you as you can without interfering with your view um, and go from there. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features, as I said. Um, man, I, I mean, there's so many projections I had that weighed like 6,000 pounds and it's really nice to have something that's reasonably portable, but this powerful. It's really quite exciting. Um, the box itself, you know, is relatively straightforward, but on the back, 4K HDR. Again, let's be clear. Yes, it's 4K, but it's not a native 4K chip. It uses pixel shifting. Basically means you are getting 4K as it sort of does uh, 1080 sort of very quickly before your eye can actually see it. Um, DCP3, so it actually has um, pretty wide color gamut capability. Again, the HDR. For those that are used to HDR on televisions, on actual um, um, televisions that are emissive, uh, micro LED, LED, um, uh, obviously OLED, plasma, CRT, very different than what, um, uh, your capabilities are with a projector. I happen to be sending 4k source from, um, one of my high end players that actually does a really decent job of, of working with the native lumens of this particular projector. But again, that's going in the weeds. You know when you're getting a projector, you're only getting so much of the HDR impact. If you really want crazy variation between the super highs and the super lows, you're not gonna get it in a projector like this. It basically means it's HDR compatible, but really com it's HDR for a projector. It's um, DHCP for a projector. Now, what are the advantages of the projector? You get a giant screen. And one huge advantage for me is actually sort of buried as the third one. Auto color calibration is really lovely. But right here, 3D support. You cannot, whatever you pay, get a 
television, like, like a normal, what we think of as a TV, that actually is 3D capable. You haven't for years, and it drives me crazy because there's amazing stuff that's on 3D Blu-ray. The 4K actual spec doesn't even spec out 3D, which again, as somebody who actually cares about stereography, drives me nuts. We have the largest film, as I'm taping this, the largest film, in, uh, one of the largest films in history is in 3D, um, Avatar 2. Whether or not you think it's a good film or bad film, doesn't matter. You still have filmmakers that are making things that, at its best in 3D, you have some films, Mad Max comes to mind, which is absolutely glorious in 3D. And the fact that you can, um, with this unit, set up the 3D would actually be a really good case scenario for me. Every day I'm gonna be watching stuff on my very large OLED, but for those times when I just want to have a projector for doing 3D, but also use it, let's say, outside, let's say in a space where I can go, where it has built-in sound, I can use this as a regular um, projector with my home theater setup, but I can take this, thanks to its portability and its built-in sound, and plop it anywhere I want, in the kitchen. I could stick it on my deck with like a portable screen and still have really decent sound um, and the capabilities. And that's what I really love about this. So a shout out for capability 3D. Of course, I wasn't able to test it with 3D because I don't have the glasses, doesn't come with that. You need active shutter glasses that BenQ sells. Um, uh, but I was able to test how it worked, just whether it accepted a signal. Some projectors do 3D, but only from computers. They don't actually accept 3D from Blu-ray. This one did. I did have to set it to force it to 60 by nine, otherwise I was getting squished. I was even able to actually have it show um, some 3D files that I actually have, some old trailers and stuff like that, and you can actually dial in. I know I'm going on about 3D, but really that's been the thing that I've wanted a projector for for years, and it was nice, even without the um, glasses, to see that there's still technology I can buy now when we're shooting this video that actually allows me to play back some of those discs and some of those files that I miss having. It's one of the reasons that I keep a very old OLED kicking around. So that's another story. Well, so we got, we have um, autofocus, Oro 2D Keystone, screen fit, object avoidance, um, wireless projection, and Bluetooth speaker and HDMI 2.0. So let's go about the, um, um, just the auto settings. What's great about it is like, again, you have a zoom thing on here. There's this, this sort of um, slide and that just goes in and out. It's as simple as that. But in front, here's obviously the uh, projector lens. You have this camera and the camera allows it just to you know, put it up there and it sends a signal and it makes it straight and it makes it in focus if you have all the autofocus on and it's fantastic. It works even better than my eyes do, especially what I'm dealing with with my eyes right now. Um, it is tremendous for that. Now, what's kind of wonky about it is that you are sort of stuck at a position sometimes where um, because it's in front of you, again, remember I said the best thing is to have it on your ottoman, is if you nudge it just a little bit or you know you sort of um, just bump it, it obviously does this autofocus thing. Obviously I can turn that off, but it's like one of those things that is very sensitive, which is actually a good thing. It means that your um, images are gonna be in place. Now, we're here to talk about the audio. And as I said, it is, you can actually use this as just a Bluetooth speaker. Literally, I can put stuff from my phone or from whatever and stream it here and not actually use it as a projector at all, which is kind of fun. It's completely overkill, but why not? Why, why not do it that way? Again, I talked about it being a wireless projector. Because there's this slot on the inside, you unscrew the top, you actually put this little um, uh, uh, Roku stick inside, which is what it comes with. Um, or you can put an additional uh, sticks. It actually has um, not only the HDMI port on the inside, but also a um, USB charger in it for um, uh, different sticks that you might actually choose to use. It becomes, just this, can become your entire home theater. This is sound, this is picture, this is streaming all in one. Fantastic, I love it. I love that you can actually have a unit that does everything all in one, but still allows you to customize. Because if it's all this was, and didn't include all this stuff, I'd be very angry. But here we are, right here. I have audio out, SPDIF out. I have HDMI 2 with audio return, in other words, it has ERC. So I can have something in here and actually have via HDMI, whatever I'm streaming off here with the streaming stick actually give me full surround sound into my home theater. In other words, this becomes essentially my receiver um, or a receiver or at least a source 
going into my preamp and then going into my uh, my speakers. In other words, I can either have stuff going from my main system into here, like most projectors would, or I can have stuff going from here to my main system, or as it's designed, I can have this just as a standalone. Again, I plug it in, I put it on the deck, uh, I put it on a table on the deck, I set up a portable screen when it's warmer, I, I turn it on, it'll autofocus, it'll auto do its thing, and I've got a, I've got an outdoor home theater. I love it. Um, the picture quality is good. It's not amazing. Obviously, I'm used to some crazy high-end laser projectors at theaters these days. Um, it is remarkable how much um, this stuff has improved over the last several years since I've seen um, smaller projectors like this. It does a, um, a very, very decent job, certainly commensurate with what you're actually getting within the package. This is not a replacement for the highest of high-end projectors where you can get some incredible stuff, three-chip laser stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you are, you are getting something really, really great bang for the buck. And as I said, I'm super ecstatic that the engineers have sort of designed something that really fits um, a unique circumstance. If the person doesn't have all the equipment, this works fantastically. If you have all of this equipment, you're probably not going to use the audio very much, but you might not be using the projector very much. You're going to use it in a specific case scenario. Let's say you have a ton of people coming over and you want to watch a big game or you want to do something like that. You want to have an even bigger screen than anything I could possibly get with my um, general television, which is where I'm going to do more critical watching. If I just like, you know, it's a bunch of sports going on or whatever that I don't care about the minutiae of the black level and all that stuff, this is fantastic. If I want to pop this outside, I don't have to worry about setting up speakers and all that stuff. It's got built-in speakers. Or, again, I can actually do optical out or the audio out on the back and augment the sound with whatever tower speakers I want on the outside. I really dig this uh, model. I like what they've done. The menu is very easy to use. It's easy to set up. It looks great. It sounds great. And if you're in the, uh, in the market for something right in the sweet spot, something that's sort of does a bunch and does it real certainly well enough certainly very very well within um, um the sort of uh, market segment that this is aiming towards i definitely think this is one to look at i've seen a number of projectors of this sort of um the range and this is for me um the most remarkable of all of all of them because it sort of goes above and beyond with this uh sound setup um the sound itself is good um, I put in some stuff, so torture stuff, um, you know, like uh, Blade Runner 2049, and I was getting some rattling at uh, maximum volume. Of, uh, volume. Of course I am. I said maximum volume. There's a Freudian slip. Because really, this is, if you want to go more than this, this would become a much heavier unit, much less portable, much um, more obnoxious. And frankly, to build that kind of sound in, you're really going to get superior sound anyway with a real subwoofer. Again, I can from this when I just want to listen to stuff I have here, or if I want, I can put it into a full system. In other words, as my system grows, this continues to be the heart of potentially my projection system. That's the part I like about it. Sounds good, clean, clear, dialogue's good. The sound modes are okay. Equalization is sort of pretty much what you want. This isn't an audiophile monster, but it is completely capable and doing what it needs to do. And that's what I really loved about it. So there we are. There's the uh, BenQ uh, projector as I'm spinning this around, the GP500. Sometimes so um, much fun you would like to think. Like I'm going to call this like a, the sort of wonder beast. The projector that sort of also does audio, um, allows you to do Bluetooth audio, allows you to actually make this the center of your setup. I would love to have one of these. I would love to have this as a sort of um, augmentation of my setup. This is going back. Um, but um, this is the first thing that I've actually been excited about in the projector space to allow me to do stuff like 3D projection, like its portability, and allow me to do the sound when I want to and not have to worry about augmenting it or when I want to using my existing setup. I really appreciate this um, very, very much. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Jason Gorber. Um, please uh, let us know in the comments um, uh, if you have any questions about this or if you have any um, thoughts about this sort of uh, projector mode, whether, how you would use it, whether you'd use it as a standalone, whether you use it as an augmentation of an existing system and all that stuff. Uh, love to hear from you, thanks so much and we will see you in the next video. Take care.